I'm Mary. And I'm Pauline. We're the Misericordia Twins. And, and bad, bad matters make us see double. Okay, this is a tricky course because it, the, all, the question is, how do you eat your noodles? In Italy, they don't use this. I know, I was gonna say that. Yeah. I didn't know you knew that. I knew that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, because, than no, you think. because I, I ate that way with a friend, and she said, she lived in, in Italy a couple of years, she said, Italians don't eat it that way. Well, hello. Noodles are actually a pain in the butt to eat sometimes, aren't they? I can't find any other way to eat them. If they don't give you a spoon, you use your fork and knife, and you cut the noodles, and you do it that way. But you don't cut it all up in little bits. How would you use the knife if you don't cut it? Oh, well, when you eat penne, how do you eat penne? With, don't you eat it with a knife and fork? I do. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, but that's not that's not uh, angel hair pasta. I mean, how do you eat that with a knife and fork? You carefully. And this is actually really difficult to eat this, this way. This is as better. Well. This is good pasta to eat this way because the other stuff, the angel hair. So don't put too much on your fork because by the time you wound all the noodles around, you have a great big look. Look at how big mine's getting. <laughs> I have to admit, I was very surprised the first time. I saw the use of the spoon, and but once I used it, it's just so much better. <laughs> it's actually making life easier, so yeah. I'm okay with it. Pasta is one of my favorite dishes, Pro probably because we're Italian. We want to mention to you, we grew up in the Italian ghetto in Ottawa. Oh, well, it was oh, a oh. ghetto. A no, ghetto is no. where all the same people of the same ethnic background. Live. It has a bad connotation, though. The word has a bad it, connotation. It, no. it because there might be crime and everything. Yeah, the, it, we lived in the ghetto. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, it was a ghetto. So let's call it a village. Okay, so we grew up. So all of our friends were Italian, but my mother sent us to an English school because she wanted to us to fit into the population. So we were invited to. I remember Jennifer Taylor's house for a birthday party. So she was English. And she lived in a grander house than we did. Well, anything everybody was grand. Did. Everybody <laughs> lived in a grander house than we did. And the t we walked in, and the table was set with a white tablecloth and, and so bowls of fruit cut up. And, and I thought to myself, I'm not going to know how to conduct myself at that table. And for, for a youngster, I was really sad. And it was embarrassing. And, you know, we, we were always considered from the wrong side of the tracks. If you have the proper manners, you're never considered from the wrong no, side of the track. It doesn't matter. No. Yeah. No. But this is a really important thing. This defines who you are, whether you have good manners or not. But let's talk about the ghetto. Oh yeah, let's talk about the ghetto. <laughs> because we didn't have tablecloths on the table. We ate the best food that anybody in the city was eating because our mother and grandmother were great Italians. And Italians are like that. They they make the finest food, but they don't know much about presentation. But no, Did you not up. listen to how we grew up? <laughs> we got one utensil on the table. Yeah, you want a fork, fork? Go get the fork. <laughs> you butter the bread with the fork. fork. You want <laughs> salt and pepper? Go get the salt and pepper. No. <laughs> we always had ginger ale. The Italians always had ginger ale. <laughs> with their, with their, it didn't matter if you were eating steak. You had ginger ale. <laughs> I don't drink ginger ale anymore. Neither do I. This is really good food. Mm -hmm. Now, if the food is really bad, what are you going to do? You're gonna lie. You're gonna say the bread was really good. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Twirl them. <laughs> Twirl them, number do it one. Any way you can get them into your mouth, <laughs> yeah. do it. But the Try spoon to do is it. the best way yeah. of doing it. Yeah. Did you hear about the Italian chef? No. He, he passed away. <laughs> <laughs> Throw them, throw them, throw them. If you like this show, click and subscribe. Oh, just press like. Can you just press like? <laughs>